What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I do have a special for you. It's not medical, however, many of you guys have responded to my video where I talked about some the amazing technology that's located inside generic children's toys. And we were trying to figure out how this thing works. So I went ahead and I acquired one and we are gonna do some exploratory surgery, hopefully non-destructive, so that we can see what's going on inside this bad boy because I am so curious how this thing works. Let's do it. All right guys, so here we have the 100 words, places I go, this is gonna be my victim. And, oh, well, oddly enough, inside it is the 100 animals book. <laughs> it's, it's not even the right one. Um, who cares, right? It doesn't matter to me, however, as long as it works. Let's see. Can we, can we still turn it on? Okay. So, as I explained in my other video, the odd thing is, is it seems to know where your finger is. And I haven't figured out how it knows where you're at. I haven't really figured out. Okay. I see maybe a little bit of a matrix underneath this page right here. Let me go ahead and kill this. There we go. Hopefully you guys can still see good. So this is the part that's curious. This I kind of get. It's easy to mask something under a sheet of plastic. It seems to be capacitive in how lightly I'm touching it. But as we found out in my other video, I don't even have to touch certain items and they were triggering, which makes me think it's infrared. There we go. Is that good? Nope, not good. All right, we'll go back to overhead. So I'm, I'm not touching it. My finger, my finger is floating about that far above. See that? And it's triggering. How does that work? Well, you can see index marks right here. So this is clearly how it's figuring some of it out, right? Let's see, where is my razor? Okay, let's activate this. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm loading up my camera so that I can get some zooms. It doesn't detect when it's up here. See that? So it has to be down. And it's gotta be some sort of transparency or translucence uh, that allows it to see what's going on. Today's goal, is to peel back the edge right here. And as we peel it back, we should be able to see how it's doing what it's doing. Yeah, it's, okay. So in order to help us with this task, I have here my heat gun. We're going to use some spring-loaded tweezers. And I've got some other dental surgical picks and stuff. So using these, we're gonna pry it back and we're gonna get inside and see what's going on. There we go, jeez, updates. Okay, so I think it's safe to say we can shut it off. And what I'm gonna do first is heat this guy up. Heating up adhesives, especially on stickers, allows them to fall back into place later. It shouldn't be damaging. So the trick is going to be to heat it up just enough where I can peel it back without damaging anything. And all I need is this corner, really. Here we go. Get nice and warm. Okay, that should be pretty warm. All right, let's... let's See if it peels back. If not, we gotta add a little bit more heat. Okay, what do we got? Oh, nice, okay. Starting to work. Okay. 
Okay. There we go. I got it underneath. And we are at our first. What is that? Oh, I'm even more lost than I was before. I see a track, a trace right here. And it goes down here to a, what looks like a piece of foam. Is it acoustic? Like, is it using sound? Why else would they have foam? Well, that's not working that well. Got to heat up some more. Okay. Come on, let's lift it. Yeah, there is a piece of foam right there. I want to lift it out and see what the heck it is. Let's see if I can get one that's clean and clear. and easy. What the heck is that? That is wild. So you can see right here, the discs, it almost looks like a foam. What the heck? So it's stuck on the surface. And it looks like it only has one wire going to it. You see that? It's like one trace right there, which comes down. Okay, let's turn it on. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, before I even touch it, it I wonder if it's like some sort of acoustic. How does that figure that out? Okay. Well, that's not very much help on the front side. Let's see if I can stick it back down. Let's go ahead and let's open it up. Maybe the circuitry inside will help tell us a little bit about what's going on. I am super curious at this moment. I thought for sure I was going to see like infrared sensors or something, but those almost look like they're acoustic, but could it be capacitive? Oh, I'm just lost, guys. Did I forget one? Jeez. They're so far down these these holes, it's really tough to see them. There it goes. I'm gonna try to leave the battery in. And hopefully that is not going through the panel, right? Yeah, it feels like it is going through the panel. Okay. All right, let's try it. Come on. Oh, look at that hidden fastener in the battery well. Of course. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. You can see all the selector switches over here. And this right here is just a, a board that detects all the different switch positions. This right here is obviously the main CPU. 
And this one over here is just an interface. And then this board here has got, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's got ten wires that go to the, the panel, the front panel. And then you can see this one right here. This one goes through the joint and down into the front. So there's detector pads on this side as well. Okay, so that cable goes down here to these detectors. That really doesn't help me at all because I don't know what the heck these guys are. It's, it was a large like carbon pad, almost looks like cork. And I don't think it's acoustic because it's only one wire. So it has to be some, some level of capacitance. And then maybe, let's see. I wonder if there's a special coating on each one of these, but it detects before you even touch. So I don't know, maybe it's got super sens sensitive uh, ca capacitive coupling so that like you're already changing the charge on the pad when your finger's in proximity. It's wild to think of that, but that's crazy. Okay, so there's just pads in here that have a single wire. Huh. But all triggers require more than one wire. Let's just see, there's seven, 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so I have nine zones, and then I have ten wires, so one of them has got to be uh, common, right, across the entire pad. So one of them's common, and what you're doing is you're syncing one of these pads to common when you, when you touch it. That's how you got ten wires. That's wild. You can see one of my wipers over here. And these are just uh, little micro switches, yeah, slider switches, see them? And one big old fat push button down here. Dang. And these cables are pretty tight too. So it's not even like I can move them around very much. So battery voltage comes in right here. We have an inductor and a voltage regulator. And that probably takes that three volts and stabilizes it for the processor. Man, it's just a simple board too. I can see the different layers though. Simple board, definitely got different layers. Here, I'll let you guys see it up close. Sorry for the grainy camera. Here, hopefully that frees it up a little bit. Yeah, absolutely wild. So as I flip these guys over with every, every page flip, yeah, it's selecting different micro switches over here on the side. Let's see if I can show you guys an up close one more time of that sensor. A sensor with one single trace. Okay, that should be enough. You can see how the adhesive, the adhesive, if you heat it up, it wants to go right back to its, its natural position. Oh, and look at this. Uh, that last pad that was down good, it's no longer down good. Here you go. Let's try on this side over here. I'll see if I can lift this corner right here so we can see the duck and see if it's the same carbon style pads. Okay, let's see if we can do this. See, it needs to be really warm. There it goes, there it goes, like butter. Like butter, folks. And there we go. That's the pads, that's the pads on the underside. It's actually on the sticker right here. 
They're almost like antennas. See that? See how each one of those pads has just one wire going to it? It's absolutely wild. Here, can I, can I pull the whole thing off? So a real technique is to heat it up as you're pulling it, like so. Nice and easy. I'm trying not to touch the adhesive too much. Okay, right here's where the wires come through. There we go, wow, nice, that worked a charm. What, okay. So it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then there is one more zone that I didn't even know, it's on the title up here. So you type the, the you touch the name, and it activates the name, that's kinda cool, didn't know that. So you can see, they're just like antennas, it's wild. I have no idea how this works, guys. Let me know if you guys figure out how this works. I'm, I'm super curious. Absolutely love tech like this. I think it's extremely durable. And you can see, it, it seems to be pretty repairable too because I just put it back down. Ta-da! There it is. It's back on. I have my page back. And I guess I could normally try it out, but no need. So anyway, guys, that's it. Boop. Interesting. Fascinating. So, guys, I'm a little bit lost. The 100, 100 animal words. It's amazing that they built this kind of technology. And I think it is, for the price that this thing costs, it's an amazing technology. And I've seen all sorts of triggering mechanisms. And I don't think I've ever seen one kind of like this. So if you guys have any idea what's going on with this, let me know. Write it down below. Let's see if you think. I think it's some sort of capacitive coupling. But uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm interested to hear your words and to see what uh, you guys and your expertise might, might say it is. So, all right. Thanks for watching, guys.